Hello, everyone, and welcome back to AIML's channel. We're sitting here once again with Tim, and we wanted to talk about the health technology industry and dive into some recent updates with the company. But first off, Tim, how are you doing today? I'm doing fine, Michael. Good to be back on your show. Oh, it's good to have you back. So let's kick it off. So I was researching this a little bit, and I, I ran into some com conflicting data, but it seems to be somewhere between 25 and over 55% of people in the modern world are now using some form of wearable device that they can use to track their steps, to track their heart rate, and so on. So this seems to be really a growing trend. Do you see this as something where almost everybody will eventually have it, and as the technology decreases in price and increases in the ability of things it can do? Um, you're absolutely right um, on all counts. First of all, you do see some conflicting data. Um, um, some of the numbers out there peg the uh, the healthcare, the digital healthcare market at somewhere between 200 to 300 billion a year, uh, depending on which report you read. Um, the one thing they all tend to agree on is that we're looking at double digit growth for the next several years. And uh, quite honestly, I don't know of any other sector of the economy that's growing nearly as fast as the digital healthcare sector is. So it's, so it's, it's definitely uh, gaining traction. And, uh, and I think part of that is, is that um, part of the acceptance um, factor is, is a, a little bit of a, a top down um, uh, uh, rationale behind it um, in that you're right, you know, people are um, carrying their cell phones, wearing the wearables, uh, with more and more frequent frequency, um, and and those devices are getting you know more and more powerful, um, cheaper, um, applicable to uh, you know a greater increasing you know type of a number of of analytics and so on. Um, but the real catalyst right now is the fact that that governments um, are accepting it. Um, the payers, meaning you know the insurers um, and and employers, are accepting it. Um, the doctors are accepting it, and so because you've got you know the uh, the, the top of the pyramid um, that that is accepting that digital healthcare is um, is a step forward. It's, it's a way of of at the same time increasing efficiencies of of the outcome of healthcare, and at, and while at the same time reducing costs. And so because they're getting it and because it, it's now being included in, uh, uh, you know, the, the payer codes by, by governments um, around the world, um, the public is, uh, is not only willing to accept it, but, but are able to uh, um, uh, benefit from it um, through their, you know, employers and doctors and so on. So. Yeah, you know, um, when it comes to the governments and the higher ups, it's it's pure mathematics, essentially, right? Like being able being able to get a better grip on a potential problem before it happens saves you an exponential amount of money. Let's say, let's say, Tim, I'm walking down the street and I've been eating a lot of very bad food for the past several years of my life, and um, I'm wearing a device that has a decent ability to track my heart rate, maybe my SpO2, maybe even a little bit of my blood pressure, right? Um, exactly. your body kind of lets you know, it, th there's signs that there's problems, right? And being able to grab onto things before they reach that critical point where it may become life or death is huge when it comes to savings. You might just need early on, maybe a little bit of blood pressure medicine. Maybe you need to watch mm -hmm. your blood sugar as opposed to deeper on, because as you know, human beings were very stubborn and we tend to ignore things, especially will gradually change. Like things that gradually change, we tend not to yeah. keep track of them when it comes to our own health. So these devices yeah. really help a part of human nature that we tend to just kind of ignore, right? Mm -hmm. Now, you're, you're absolutely right. And one of the, the, the beauties of it, you just touched on the, the fact that that while we as humans, um, you know, very quickly become, you know, lackadaisical with respect to, um, you know, pulling out that blood pressure cuff and, and checking our blood pressure, you know, once every few weeks or whatever, um, you throw on one of these and it does it for you automatically. Um, this device here will monitor my blood pressure and my oxygen, my blood oxygen level, and it'll get, give my heart rate and heart rate variability and uh, 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 temperature, um, my sleep patterns and so on and so forth. And it'll do that um, as often as I 
choose to, to allow it. And all that data is automatically aggregated onto our platform and is, and is there for me and my medical team to use whenever, uh, whenever we want to. And now when I really want to get interactive with it, um, I can start tagging along with these analytics certain um, behaviors and, um, um, and, and all of a sudden we see patterns start to grow. Um, you know, my stress level has been up for the last couple of days because of blah, blah, blah. And I noticed that my blood pressure readings were off in that same period of time. Yeah. Um, I was uh, a little bit depressed and maybe drinking too much. And I noticed that my, you know, uh, 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 blood oxygen level was off a little bit or, you know, and so on and so forth. And, and so, so all of a sudden you have this very immediate real feedback that's tying our real life events uh, together with uh, the analytics that are, that are being aggregated on our behalf. And, and so it makes it uh, really um, straightforward and, and available to us to, you know, to make these immediate and 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 meaningful changes to our, our lifestyle as we choose to yeah as you said this is something that and again this is not something that's going to be going away it's it's literally just going to get bigger from here because yeah. as things again as things get cheaper as it gets more and more accepted especially on you'd say like a cultural level or where we've accepted it on a governmental mathematical level hey guys this is very useful but now it's, it just seems like a matter of Hey, on an individual level, you tracking your health means you may potentially get more time with your family. You may potentially sure. save money yourself too. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, once again, our strategy is dealing uh, not so much with the general public, although we are offering, you know, sales direct to the public, but our marketing strategy, our business plan is uh, through channel partners, meaning dealing with the insurance companies the large corporations who are concerned with the, the, the health and well-being of their employees, um, hospitals, and so on and so forth. Yeah. And the advantage to them there is, is, is obvious that for the few dollars that it takes to provide their users with our device and our tracking on a monthly basis is, a, is pennies compared to the real money and real cost um, if they lose that employee, you know, due to illness or, or that, that patient due to illness. Um, so they, 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 those companies understand that prevention is, uh, um, is, is definitely the way to go and something that's, that's been, you know, drastically overlooked in our traditional Western medicine. We've been all about waiting until uh, the horse is out of the barn uh, uh, before we uh, <laughs> close the barn door, uh, to use a, yeah. a bad analogy. But, um, uh, you know, so the idea of doing something preventative is, uh, is a whole new concept. And, and digital health care, uh, that's one of the areas that uh, we absolutely excel at, that along with, you know, uh, chronic care management. So for the people who, um, let's say, diabetics or... or um, weight loss management patients or, or uh, any sort of patient that needs to be in front of their, their, their care providers on a very regular basis. Um, the idea uh, of us aggregating that data for them and porting it over to their healthcare providers on an hourly basis, daily basis, weekly basis, whatever, whatever is necessary between, you know, uh, the, 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 uh, the patient and, and their doctor is, uh, is doable. And, uh, um, and the benefit to that for the, these, you know, chronic care management is, uh, is, is incredible. Yeah, that's true. It, there's, it's a multifaceted use, right? You can use it for multiple sure. things track things like this. So Tim, I wanted to shift gears just a little bit. And I want you to tell me about how you feel that 2021 has went for you guys so far. Q1, okay. and then tell me about Q2. How are things going so far there as well? All right. So, you know, quarter one was uh, our launch. And so we were just, you know, getting our feet under us, so to speak. Um, we went public in January. We raised uh, $4 million um, uh, within the first 30 days of going public. We listed on the uh, CSE um, in Canada. Um, we put together our board of directors and our management team. Um, we launched our products and launched our e-commerce site. So it was all about 
um, you, you know, just really uh, uh, getting our feet under us and and uh, and hitting that, the ground running. Mm -hmm. um, whereas with quarter two, we've now had more time now that uh, that some of the, the the basics have been taken care of. Um, we've uh, we've spent more time um, advancing our discussions and, and negotiations with. Uh, 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 potential strategic partners and, and uh, 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 channel partners. Um, we've brought out the second generation of the device, um, which uh, again, this is the, the Phoenix, which is the second generation, which is improved in every way. It has better sensors in it. It uh, has the ability to monitor blood oxygen that the first version didn't, all uh, temperature monitoring, 24-hour um, heart rate sensing, and so on and so forth. So it's a, a, a better wearable in every sense of the word. So we brought that out. Um, we also um, recently achieved our OTC uh, QB listing in the U.S. So now um, all U.S. investors uh, are able to, uh, to access uh, quotations on us. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and also we've been able to focus more time on uh, other potential uh, acquisitions for the company that, uh, that we believe will, will add some tremendous value going forward. So quarter two has uh, also been a, 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 a very busy quarter for us. And I think um, starting in quarter three, we will really start to see the uh, the fruits of the labor from uh, the, the first half year of our existence as a company. Yeah, that's fair. When you first, that first quarter, as you said, it was very much foundation building, right? Like that's one exactly. of the things you got to yeah. really connect all the dots, make sure everything is good so that moving forward, everything runs smoothly and it's, it's all downhill. Everything's going very well from there. So yeah. And then quarter two, you've really, you've really followed through from quarter one. You've got improvements on your devices, listing on the OTC, making further deals. So Things look great. Tim, are you able to give any teasers of what may be coming up next? Well, we are working towards some, some acquisitions and we're, we're quite excited about uh, the prospect of uh, them coming together in, in the near future. Of course, you know, I have to caution your viewers that uh, uh, no deal is done until it's done. Um, they are work in progress. Um, but we are happy with the progress that we're making. And, uh, and so we do believe that... Uh, that uh, there is good potential in quarter three to uh, to have some you know potential acquisitions uh, to be able to uh, to speak to and uh, and as well we're uh, um, we are expecting also that uh, um, maybe even before quarter two is out hopefully that that we'll have um, the first pilot projects with some channel partners that we'll be able to announce so we are making some headway on that front as well with respect to some uh, business partners. So, so it's, um, uh, the, the future's looking good um, and uh, we're, uh, we're, we're pleased with the direction everything's going and, and we ask that uh, you know, people uh, be a little bit patient because uh, as I said, we are, we are a, a new company in the first, first uh, little while was uh, just building that foundation, getting our, our, our feet under us. And, and now we're, we're moving in the right direction. Yeah, well, we look forward to more exciting updates, Tim. Thank you for coming on. If there's any questions for Tim or anybody else on the team, we'll be happy to answer them. Happy to have anyone else on from the team you guys want. Just let us know. Tim, thank you so much for coming on. Have a wonderful day. Always a pleasure, Michael. Thanks for having me.